Hello, my name is Kelly Kelso, and today I'm going to be sh showing you how to add icons uh, that link to all of your different social media. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Design in the top right hand corner of the screen, and from this page we're going to click on Layout. Once the layout populates, I can see everything that I have added to my web uh, to my blog page. On the right hand side, on my sidebar, I want to now list um, the different icons for all of my social media. So I'm going to go to Add a Gadget. And when the Add a Gadget window opens up, we are now going to move from the basics of gadgets to more gadgets. You'll notice on the basics there's only 28. But when I move to more gadgets, there are 905 gadgets that you could peruse through and see if there's any of those you would like to use. For right now, I'm going to type in the search box and I'm going to type Twitter. I'm going to click on the search icon here on the side. And now notice that I only have 13 that I have to look through. And I know uh, that I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to find a gadget here created by a company named Power called Social Media Icons. I'm going to simply click on the Add button. It will let me rename it if I want to. If I don't want power on the title, I can take that off and just say social media icons. I'm going to leave everything um, just as is and I'm going to then click on save. You'll notice that they also put some instructions here of what you will do once you get your um, gadget in place. I'm going to walk you through these steps but I just wanted you to see that you will have some steps here that you can go back and look at without having to re-watch the video. I click on Save. And now my social media icons have appeared. Again, most people will look for the social media icons either at the very top of the page or at the very bottom. I'm just going to keep mine here. But remember, you can just click and drag to move these gadgets around and get those laid out just like you want. I'm going to click on Save Arrangement. I'm going to now click on my view blog top and now I have a place for social media. Now right as of now there is nothing linked. So you'll notice that at the bottom of this box, well I guess there are the icons, but those are not for me. So I notice that there's a little gear box right over here at the far right hand side and I need to edit these so that my items show up. So I'm going to click on the gear and now I can pick and choose which of the social media I want to be in there. First of all I can pick the size and now it's going to walk me through what I need to do. I'm going to here uh, this is just what it looks like. I can go in and I can change what I want the color scheme to look like. If I want it to match more of my background, I can click the down arrow here and I see that here this is probably more the same color scheme of what I have uh, in there. And I'm going to click apply. Then I'm going to go to the content. And this is where I can choose the different things that I want linked. So if I want my email then I'm just simply going to type in my email and that way I know it's going to go to my email. If I wanted my Facebook page I could put my Facebook page and notice if I click this down arrow I have a lot of different things that I could put in here. Um, I think my next one I'm going to put is going to be to link to my Twitter because I know that from here I can go to the tab where I have my Twitter page opened up. I can copy that URL noticing it has my Twitter name at the end of it. I can either control C or I can right click and copy and then I'm going to go back to uh, my blog layout actually to my blog and this little setup has opened in a new window and then I'm going to right click here and I'm going to paste and it has my Twitter feed. 
you can add as many of these as you want. I see Twitter is here, so I'm just going to delete that one out. But I can choose any type, and I, I'm not going to take time to put all of those in. You're going to put the email to each one that you have. Notice you can add more here if you want. I'm going to save changes. At this point, you can either uh, create a new account or you can sign in. I already have my sign in. And now it will save. You may have to create an account to save this for the first time. But now, if somebody clicks on my email, the email button, it should open an email and you see that it's going to me and my settings are now saved.